I want to take this time, though, at the end of the show to just address a little uh, little video that came out yesterday in the Twitter sphere. Little uh, little juice generating uh, February 28th by nature of uh, a locker room video that was, I don't know if leaked is the right word, that hit the timeline yesterday is maybe the better phrasing. There was a, a video that came out yesterday, two Kentucky football players in the locker room. I read an article that said it was after spring practice and they're going at each other. Like they, I mean, they're, they're wailing on each other. One of them eventually puts the other in a headlock. And the internet just ran with this one. It came out later that this was actually an older video. This wasn't something that just happened yesterday and got aired yesterday. It's, a, it's an older video. Um, like I said, Twitter had a field day. Twitter ran with this one. Some of it funny, some of it not so funny. And uh, I just think this really got blown out of proportion. Like, is it ever good to have a fight in your locker room? Of course not. <laughs> Of course not. There, there's no way to spin that as a positive thing. You could say, oh, there's emotions running high. That's good. The guys are being competitive. No, fighting in your locker room is not a good thing. That's true. It's also true that the college football locker room is not at all the real world. Not at all the real world. There are things that happen in a college football locker room that don't happen anywhere else. If you do what happened in that video in a nine to five, you're probably facing some legal charges. You do that in the college football locker room. You talk about it. Probably there's a conversation between those two players at a later date. I don't have the proper context around this, but I just have to believe that these two players within the next month, maybe the next two weeks, were probably okay. It probably wasn't a thing that severed the relationship for the rest of time. And so what, what I think is important to note here, like just because you see things on a short Twitter clip, as Dan Lanning said after he uh, was asked about his comments in, in the locker room talking about, um, before they played Colorado, you know, they're playing for clicks, we're playing for wins. You get a, a window into the house. You get a quick little peek, get to see what's going on. That doesn't tell the whole story. These two players fighting doesn't scream about the dysfunction at Kentucky. Because that was kind of the narrative before we found out this video was old. Hey, Kentucky, do they have a culture problem? What's going on in the house? And then we go and look at what Kentucky did last season. They were Really a, a field goal away, a couple plays away from being 8-4. and four. They finished 7-6 and six with the bowl game. The bottom line here, I don't think there's a culture problem at Kentucky. I do not feel that way at all. I actually, if, if there's a problem that we want to have with this whole video, my problem if I'm a player in that locker room is that this video got out. Hey, who thinks it's a good idea here to videotape family business that's happening here, whether it's good or bad, whether we're sending it to just our friends or whatever. Family business is family business. What happens in a college football locker room should not get leaked out to the rest of the public. We handle things here as a team, as a family, and we don't let anybody else have a conversation about it because they don't understand what we got going on in here. Now, again, hear me clearly. I am not excusing what happened. I don't think it's ever a good thing to have players fighting. But without the context, without the story, without everything else that is crucial to understanding that situation, we're just taking a peek in a window, trying to look inside the house, and make our own narrative from there. So I don't have a problem with this whole situation as much as I do the problem that it, that it got leaked from the player. So at the end of the day, I want to say this one more time, a college football locker room is not the same as the real world. I have to believe these guys are probably, probably the key word there. I think they're probably more than fine after a couple of weeks. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.